to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and I'm very glad you're joining us again today. Today we're going to have another very interesting show. We have with us a gentleman from Austria, Thomas Hubel, who is touring the United States right now as a spiritual teacher. And uh, some say that he is walking in the footsteps, if you will, of Eckhart Tolle. It's an interesting comparison, and you'll be left to your own to make whatever decisions you want, and also about what that might mean for yourself as well as for what it is you're experiencing here with us. The main point is that Thomas is doing some really interesting work of integrating what he refers to as inner sciences and set something up called the Academy of Inner Science to help bring forth the spiritual aspect of our nature into the world into a very practical application, if you will. And as those of you who watch A Better World with any regularity know, that's truly the essence of what we're about. Taking spiritual values and our spiritual lives and bringing it very actively engaged in the world so we can transform ourselves on the material plane. So it's really very much a blessing to have Thomas on with us today. Here we are at One Spirit Seminary shooting on location where he will be giving a talk here in New York City, kicking off his tour. So, welcome in. Good Hello. To have you. Thank you. Good to be part of your program. I'm so glad. Yeah. So tell me, it's interesting, Thomas. Most people don't, uh, as a child, say, you know, when I grow up, I want to be a spiritual teacher. Yes. You know, usually they say, I want to be a fireman, or I want to be a policeman, or I want to be a baseball player, or, you know, something like right, that, right. an astronaut. <laughs> but, so how is it that, what were you doing before you decided to give yourself, or were given, that name, and yes. what does it mean to you? Yes, well, I, I wanted to become a doctor in uh -huh. this time, so yeah. I studied medicine in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and when like I was... Dr. Sigmund Freud? Uh, yes. In that tradition? <laughs> yes. And then I, when I was 19 already, I had these feelings out of the blue, I need to meditate every day. And I did it every day. And then when I was 26, I decided, no, I cannot continue with what I'm doing. I need some time off. I need a retreat to somehow, something needs to happen that cannot happen in the way I'm living. Mm -hmm. And then this time I already did many workshops. I read many books. Uh, yeah, I read many books. and. Uh, and then I thought, so something... On meditation and spiritually on, on oriented? Thing. Nearly everything, yeah, in this direction. Um, and then in these four years, this was really a very strong time of meditation and exploring consciousness from within. I think, therefore, also the name Inner Science. And, um, and then in these four years, I had some profound experiences. And then I came back to Vienna after this time. And... Uh, and then a spiritual teacher called Polo was coming to this city, and someone told me, Thomas, you need to go to, the, to see him. And then I went and I saw him, and he said some nice things about me and my energy. And then, from, then suddenly people start inviting me for workshops. They say, I want to organize a workshop in Berlin. I want to. Mm -hmm. So I followed this. And, uh, and from this, everything started in a way. And then from this, this was nine years ago nearly. Oh and my God. And just now I have nine very intense years. Of <laughs> so you could say you didn't pursue that. If anything, right. it sort of pursued you. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. This was exactly how it was. Yeah. Also, after these four years, I always said, listen, I'm not going. I mean, I gave some private sessions to people yeah. uh, after that. But I said, I don't go out and I don't do flyers. And this, if it's ripe, life will pick me. Right. <laughs> and right. this is exactly how it happened. Yeah. It yeah. came and it unfolded naturally, and it's still doing. Yes. And that's beautiful. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, I was watching one of your videos, and you were speaking about evolution, that right. it just happens. You don't do it, you don't force it. Right. Evolution is, I mean, it sounds redundant, but is natural. It's a biological and a spiritual right. flowering. If you yes. Will. yes. <laughs> right. And so you just allow it. So it sounds that that is directly what totally, is going on yeah, yeah. with you. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, funny. I, I, you know, we almost crossed paths uh, some years ago in the East Village, yes. right by where I live, and some 
friends of mine said, who are now friends of yours, said, come on over. Thomas Hubble is here from Vienna. You've got to meet him. Yes, so, yeah. But for whatever reason, we didn't cross paths, but I'm glad we are now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too.